There's not a lot of Army divers because it's a very high standard. Being an a Army diver is sort of like a brotherhood. Everybody knows everybody and it's extremely small, so it's a very close-knit field. It's not for everyone. You have to have a certain mindset to be able to do this job. If a land-based engineer can do it, we do. Yeah, that's the normal reaction. The Army's got deep-sea divers, what? They use the term a lot, drinking from a fire hose, and that's pretty accurate. So they throw you right into it right away. The instructors here, they're, they're very knowledgeable, and they expect a lot, and that's completely understandable. This job is not for the faint of heart. My dive school class started with 96 people, and six of us graduated. So that just goes to show you the, the caliber of soldier it takes to do this job. Your attitude is the most important thing when you're underwater. You know, you just have to tell yourself that even when you're on the bottom of a 14-foot pool, you know, your air is three seconds away. I can remember a lot of days, a lot of times when we would be doing over-unders where we're swimming all the way across the bottom. This is the one. I'm done. I'm quitting. I'm quitting, and I, I just wouldn't. And I just sat there, and I waited, and I caught my breath. And then when we were told to go under there, I went under again, and thinking the same thing. This is the one. I'm done. And I just didn't. You just, finally, you just get to the point where it's like, you know, I can keep doing this. I've seen soldiers get in the water, panic immediately, get out, and run into the bathroom crying. You just got to keep calming yourself down, you know, and just tell yourself that your air is only three seconds away. Just stay calm. It's incredible uh, because every one of these jobs that we do, you're working in a buddy team, and that buddy could be the difference between life and death for you. So you have to trust each other in, in situations like this because there's no one else. Teamwork is a huge part of this course. You're always going to have a dive buddy. You're always going to be able to depend on that person to your left or your right. And if you're not depending on them, then you're putting them at risk and putting yourself at risk. I was fortunate enough to have these guys, Olinger and two others, here to kind of counsel me. It did help to have somebody to come to with questions. I, I think I went back and forth um, questioning whether or not I bit off more than I can chew, but now that I'm here, i um, happy and confident and looking forward to the next step. I mean, you see the trainees, you see the instructors, you see the people in the field, and they're all the best of the best. And we're trained by the best to be the best. <laughs> and that's what I like. Hudson, last lap.